Heavenly Father, we are celebrating already. We thank you, Lord, because tonight there's a divine touch. Tonight there's a miracle touch. Tonight there is power touch. Tonight there's supernatural touch. Lord, I pray every brother, every sister, every invitee, every friend, everyone here will touch you tonight. Will touch you tonight. Everyone will be made whole in Jesus' name. Many people ask, are asking questions. Why am I like this? Why am I like this? All questions are over. All wonderings are over. All doubts are over. Because tonight, a touch is coming upon your life. A touch of miracle. A touch of power. A touch of authority. A touch of the supernatural. Touch him tonight. Touch him tonight. Touch him tonight. You'll be made whole in Jesus' name. I send forth the power of God right now. And as the word of God is going forth tonight, everyone that touches the Lord, you'll be made whole in Jesus' name. I pray, O oh Lord, mountains will move out of this place today. Sicknesses will move out in Jesus' name. Incredibles will be cured in Jesus' name. Wonders tonight. Wonders tonight. Miracles tonight. Power tonight. Authority tonight. Oh Lord, I pray all impossibilities will be possible in Jesus' name. Tonight, oh Lord, open the windows of heaven. Shower your blessings upon your people. Dry all those tears from every eye. And clear all those rubbish, all the hindrances out of their lives in Jesus' name. Confirm it in every life. Brother, you have a testimony. Sister, you have a testimony. Leaders, you have a testimony. Every family here, you have a testimony in Jesus' name. I thank you, Lord, because I know it is done. In Jesus' name we pray. Sit down in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. All blessings are yours tonight. I said all blessings are yours tonight. I'm looking at, I'm looking at Numbers chapter 23. Numbers chapter 23, I'm looking at verse 19. Tonight, I'm talking to you on the God that cannot fail. The God that cannot fail. The God that cannot fail. I come to you tonight, and I want to tell you, your mountains are gone. Your sicknesses are gone. Your infirmities are gone. Because we serve a God that cannot fail. A God that will not fail. In your life tonight, it will not fail. On your child tonight, it will not fail. In your family tonight, it will not fail. The God that cannot fail. The God that cannot fail. Look at Numbers chapter 23 verse 19. God is not a man that he shall lie. Neither the son of man that he shall repent. As he said... And shall he not do it? Or has he spoken? And shall he not make it good? Behold, I have received commandment to bless. And he has blessed. And he has blessed you. And I cannot reverse it. He has not beheld iniquity in Jacob. Neither has he seen perverseness in Israel. The Lord is God. is with him. And the shout of a king is among them. God brought them out of Egypt. He has, he has a sitwa, the strength of an unicorn. And then it says, surely, surely, there is no enchantment against Jacob. Neither is there any divination against Israel. According to this time, it shall be said, of Jacob and of Israel, watch as God wrought. As you look at those verses I have read to you, there are three things I need to point to you in the introduction. Number one, what God can do. What God can do. Number two, what Satan cannot do. What Satan cannot do. Number three, what you, the believer, ought to do. Number one, what God can do. God is, a, is not a man that he shall lie. 
neither the son of man, that he should repent, as he said, and shall not do it, he will do everything he has said. He said, he will heal you, he'll do that. He said, he'll save you, he'll do that. He said, he'll save your family, he'll do that. He said, he'll deliver you, he'll do that. He said, he'll provide for you, he'll do that. He cannot lie. Because it's not the son of man that he shall lie. Neither the son of man that he will change his mind. He said he'll remove your mountain. He will remove your mountain. He said he will open your blind eyes. He will do it. He said he will open your deaf ears. He will do it. He said all your deformity, all your infirmity, he'll take everything away. He will do it. He said he'll give children to the barren. He will do it. He said he'll give success. He'll give victory to the failures. He, he will do it. He will do it in Jesus' name. He opened the Red Sea. He'll open your Red Sea. He brought water out of the out of the rock. He'll bring water out of your rock. He'll bring impossibilities out of that situation in Jesus' name. What God can do. What God can do. Number two is what Satan cannot do. What Satan cannot do. Look at verse 20. Behold, I have received commandment to bless and he has blessed and i cannot reverse it messenger of satan said i cannot reverse it this person that was brought to curse the children of israel said i cannot reverse it what satan cannot do the blessing god has given you tonight satan cannot reverse it the positive power of god in your life tonight satan cannot make it negative and all the good things the Lord is bringing in your life. Satan cannot bring any bad sin into it in Jesus' name. Your destiny is bright. Your future is bright. The glory of God will be upon your life in Jesus' name. I have received commandment to bless. He has blessed. And I cannot reverse it. Now what the believer ought to do. What a child of God ought to do. You, those of us who are here tonight and everyone hearing my voice what, what you ought to do number one I believe number one I believe number one I believe what should you do just believe just believe just believe that woman said she had had that problem for 12 years issue of blood she said if I may just touch the hem of his garment I shall be made whole believe that tonight and do it and do it by faith stretch up stretch forth your hand of faith and touch him everything is all right in jesus name tonight heavens will open tonight will cry to the lord and tonight miracles will happen tonight a touch of miracle a touch of power a touch of authority a touch in your life. I'm telling you, mountains are rolling away right now in Jesus' name. The good old days of revival, they have come back. The good old days of miracle, they have come back. And the good old days of say it and get it immediately, it has come back. I said, tonight, wait and get. I said, wait and get. I said, wait and get. You will get it in Jesus' name. You see what the Lord is saying over here? He's saying he will bless you. He said he has not beheld iniquity in Jacob. Neither has he seen perverseness in Israel. The Lord is God is with him. And the shout of a king is with him also. Tonight, the shout of celebration. And the shout of power. And the shout of miracle. And a shout of signs and wonders. Tonight, when you hear the final amen, there's a shout of testimony over there. Tonight, when you hear the, the final amen, there's a miracle over there already. Tonight, when you hear the final amen, I see somebody there, you are lame, you are rising up already. Tonight, after the final prayer, I see somebody blind over there. Open, open your eyes, you will see in Jesus' name. Goiter will vanish away. Hunchback will vanish away. Arthritis will vanish away. All those problems, something knocking your head, knocking your head, I command. Everything will stop in Jesus' name. The shout of a king and the shout of victorious people will be here tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. We were looking at Joshua chapter 1, Joshua chapter 1. 
I'm reading over here from verse 5. Joshua chapter 1. And we're looking at verse 5. It says, There shall not any man be able to stand before thee all the days of thy life. That's all the amen you can give to that. Oh, no. I read something here. I'm seeing something. Here. There shall not any mountain be able to stand before you all the days of your life. There shall not, there shall not any problem be able to stand before thee all the days of thy life. There shall not any demon be able to stand before thee all the days of thy life. There shall not be any sickness able to stand before thee all the days of thy life. There shall not be any barrenness able to stand before thee all the days of thy life. Oh, it says, there shall not any, there shall not be any, any curse able to stand before thee all the days of thy life. In fact, he's saying, there shall not any yoke be able to stand before you all the days of your life. He's telling us over here, there shall not be any affliction able to stand before you all the days of your life. Oh, what he's saying is, there shall not be any incurable disease able to stand before you all the days of your life. He's saying there shall not be any infirmity, any infirmity, any infirmity able to stand before you all the days of your life. As I was with Moses, I will be with you. As I was with Elijah, I will be with you. As I was with Elisha, I will be with you. As I was with Paul, I will be with you. As I was with Peter, I will be with you. As I was with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, I will be with you. As I was with Daniel in Babylon, I will be with you. I will not fail you. I will not fail you. I will not fail you. Nor forsake you. Be strong and of a good courage. For unto this people thou shalt divide for an inheritance the land which I swear unto their fathers to give them. Only be thou strong and very courageous when you stand to pray tonight. Only be thou strong and very courageous when you command the devil tonight. Only be thou strong and very courageous when you tell that sickness to go tonight. Only be thou strong and very courageous when you tell failure to go away from your life tonight. Only be thou strong and be very courageous when you say, I'm not going to remain the same as I was. Only be thou strong and very courageous that thou mayest observed to do according to all that is written in the uh, by, that is which Moses my servant commanded thee turn not from it to the right to the right hand or to the left that thou mayest prosper thank God you will prosper I say thank God you will prosper that thou mayest prosper whithersoever thou goest this book of the Lord shall not depart out of thy mouth but thou shalt meditate therein day and night that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then, for then, for then, thou shalt make thy way prosperous. Remember what God can do, what Satan cannot do, and what you ought to do. You will make your way prosperous. And Satan cannot traverse that in Jesus' name. And then, then, thou shalt have good success. Good success. Good success. In Jesus' name. Now, now, when God says good is in your life, cancel that word bad away from your mouth. Cancel the word evil away from your life. Cancel lack from your life. You know, some people saying, I don't know, I never, don't even complete that sentence. Cancel that word never away from your mouth in Jesus' name. Salvation has come. Deliverance has come. Healing has come. Success has come. Prosperity has come. What God can do, what Satan cannot do, and what you ought to do. I'm looking at the God that cannot fail. The God that cannot fail. I'm talking about your God. The God you serve, that God cannot fail. He will not fail in Jesus' name. Three things before we pray. Number one, the promise that cannot fail. The promise that cannot fail. Number two, the power that cannot fail. Number two, the power that cannot fail. Number three, the people that cannot fail. The people that cannot fail. I see those people here tonight. 
I see those people here tonight. The people that cannot fail, you will not fail in Jesus' name. Number one, the promise that cannot fail. Look at 1 Kings chapter 8. 1 Kings chapter 8, and I'm reading there from verse 56. 1 Kings chapter 8, and we're looking at verse 56. The promise, the promise that cannot fail, that will never fail, that will not fail. We're looking at 1 Kings chapter 8, verse 56. He said, Blessed be the Lord that has given rest unto his people Israel. According to all that he promised, there has not failed one word. There has not failed one word. There will never fail one word. Of all his good promise, which he promised by the hand of Moses, his servant. Those promises are still yes and amen today. And the promises, they will not fail in your life in Jesus' name. I see no promise to save you and your family. Your family members, they are going to be saved. I see no promise to heal you. He said, I will restore health unto them. Your healing has come already in Jesus' name. I see not said, he'll deliver you from the hand of Mr. Terrible. And all those people that terrify you, all those people that are terrorizing you, he will deliver you tonight in Jesus' name. He says, all the arrows by night and all the arrows by the day, they will not touch you. He said, you are the apple of his eye. And he said, nothing bad, nothing evil will happen to you. I accept that. I receive that. It is done in Jesus' name. The promise, the promise that cannot fail. I'm looking at Deuteronomy now, chapter 28. Deuteronomy chapter 28, the promise that cannot fail. The promise that cannot fail. Because God cannot fail, his word cannot fail. Because God cannot fail, his promise cannot fail. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 1. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high, will set thee on high above all the nations of the earth. That's the promise that cannot fail. You are going to get to the top. And all these blessings shall come on thee. That's the promise that cannot fail. The blessing will come upon thee. And overtake thee if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Blessed shall not be in the city. Blessed shall not be in the field. Blessed shall be the fruit of thy body. Your children in the children's church right now, the blessing is coming upon them. Your children, teenagers in the youth section, the blessing is coming upon them right now. And your children in the universities, the, prom the pr promise is coming upon them right now where they are in Jesus' name. The fruit of thy ground and the fruit of thy cattle and the increase of thy kind and the flocks of thy sheep Blessed shall be thy basket and thy store. Blessed shall thou be when thou comest in. Blessed shall thou be when thou goest out. The Lord shall cause thine enemies that rise up against thee to be smitten before thy face. They shall come out against thee one way and, they, and flee before thee seven ways. The Lord shall command the blessing upon thee in thy storehouses. And in all that thou settest thy hand unto, all that thou settest thy hand unto, where is your right hand? Where is the left one? Wave them at me. I anoint those hands in Jesus' name. The anointing of the Lord. The anointing that breaks the yoke. I anoint your hand in Jesus' name. Anything you touch, blessing. Any exam you write, success. Any work you do, they stand anointed hand. Where is the anointed hand? Where is the anointed hand? Be careful with that hand. Be careful with that hand. You lay those hands on the sick, they will recover in Jesus' name. Because he says, look at this, look at this, look at this in the word of God. The Lord himself, the Lord himself. He says, he will bless anything you set your hand unto. He will bless in Jesus' name. It shall bless thee in the land which the Lord thy God giveth unto thee. The Lord shall establish you an holy people. Nobody will unseat you. 
Nobody will drive you away. Nobody will take you away from your inheritance. All your inheritance you will enjoy in Jesus' name. I see a sworn unto thee, if thou shalt keep the commandment of the Lord thy God, and walk in his ways, and all the people of the earth shall see. Your neighbors shall see. Your relatives shall see. People in the village, they will see. People in the city, they will see. All the people that are saying, what can you do? They said in the past, where is your God? They said in the past, what have you got? You've been going to that place, and eh, deeper life, deeper life, deeper life, deeper life. That was before. Today, today, I'm telling you something. I'm telling you something. They will say, ah, we didn't know you'll become like this. We didn't know you'll be high like this. We didn't know you'll be promoted like this. I pray that that blessing will stick on your head in Jesus' name. Because here it says, look at it, all the people of the earth shall see that thou art called by the name of the Lord, and they shall be afraid of thee. Egyptians shall be afraid of thee. Babylonians shall be afraid of thee. All the people that says, throw him in the lion's den, throw him in the lion's den, they'll be afraid of you in Jesus' name. Your persecutors, they'll be afraid of you in Jesus' name. The Lord shall make thee plenteous in goods, and in the fruit of thy body, and in the fruit of thy cattle, and in the fruit of thy ground, in the land, will the Lord swear unto thy fathers to give thee. The Lord shall open unto you his good treasure, and heaven to give the rain unto you in the land in the season, and to bless, and to bless, and to bless all the work of thine hand. All the work of thy hand it will bless. And thou shalt lend unto many nations, and thou shalt not borrow. And thou shalt not borrow. And thou shalt not borrow. Uh, you know, sometimes uh, when, you, when you go to somebody's house and then you knock at the door, they tell their children, tell them I'm not here because he's coming to borrow again. And then you knock and knock and knock and then you go back disappointed. But you know, this time now, uh, you know, you are going to have enough. You are going to have to spare. You are going to have surplus. And then when you have some extra, you will go to them, you know, you, they will think it's coming again, it's coming again. And then, oh, so good afternoon. I just came to, you know, bless, I want to be a blessing in your life. And then you put your hand in your pocket, you say, I just want to give you this before I go. Because now you will learn unto many nations, you will not borrow in Jesus' name. And all that spirit of poverty and spirit of borrowing, I cancel from your life. And I, and I proclaim, I pronounce the blessing of plenty and the blessing of prosperity and the blessing of surplus in your life in Jesus' name. It says, it tells us in verse 13, and the Lord shall make thee the hedge and not the tail. The hedge and not the tail. The hedge and not the tail. You know, I read that many years ago, and I'm asking myself, what's the difference between the head and the tail? Somebody said, the head is big and the tail is narrow. I said, that's right, that's right. You are going to be big. You'll be the head and not the tail in Jesus' name. Oh, another person, excuse me, sir, can I say some 30 years? He said, can I say another thing about the head and the tail? I said, go ahead. He said, the head leads the way and the tail follows. You are going to lead the way. I said you are going to lead the way. I said you are going to lead the way. And then somebody in my class also said, sir, I have something to say. I said, tell me, what do you have to say? He said, the head contains the brain, but the tail has no brain. And that means that I'm going to be the head. The vision is there in the head. The power is there in the head. The understanding is there in the head. And the, the wisdom is there in the head. God will give you wisdom. God will give you wisdom. There is no wisdom in the tail. There is no power in the tail. There is no vision in the tail. I will not be the tail. I'm going to be the head in Jesus' name. You will not, you will not be the tail. I said you will not be the tail. Vision is coming upon your life. Wisdom is coming upon your life. 
and you're going to have the wisdom to construct that, and the wisdom to invent that, and the wisdom to produce that, you are a producer right now. Because you are the head. You know, it's the head that produces the tail. What does the tail produce? It's the head that commands. What does the tail command? Because you are now the commander. I said you are now the commander. You'll be the head. You will not be the tail in Jesus' name. And then he says, and thou shalt be above only. Thou shalt be above only. Thou shalt be above only. If you go to the left, you're going to be above. If you go to the right, you are going to be above. If you move to that place, you are going to be above. If you move to that company, you are going to be above. Promotion upon promotion. I said promotion upon promotion. He said above only and thou shalt not be beneath. Thou shalt not be beneath. And I'm asking myself, what's the difference between something on top and then something beneath? You know, all those uh, things beneath, if you have a box, and then you put something underneath, and then you pile up, you pile up, all the pressures of everything in that box, they are on the ones beneath. You see the people beneath, they have pressures, they even have depression. And the Lord is saying, you'll not be beneath anymore, all the pressures are gone. All the weights are gone. It says you'll be on top because when you're on top, there's nothing above you. There's no pressure above you. And there is no problem above you. All the problems, all the pressure, all the depression, all the fear, all those problems, they're gone in Jesus' name. And then it goes on to say, it says, If thou shalt hearken unto the commandment of the Lord thy God, which I command thee this day to observe and to do them, we will do them and we're going to be blessed in Jesus' name. The promise that cannot fail. The promise that cannot fail. Everywhere you go, the Lord will bless the work of your hand in Jesus' name. And there's a simple, there's a simple passage. You know it, but you don't, maybe you don't know there's something there waiting for you. This is yours. We're looking at some, we're looking at someone, someone. I'm reading from verse one. Blessed is the man. And those are the people I'm talking to. The people I'm talking to are blessed. The women I'm talking to are blessed. The boys and the girls I'm talking to, they are blessed. Blessed is the man. Blessed is the woman that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor seated in the seat of this comfort. Why? 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 Because, listen to this, all those people, the ungodly, they don't have the wisdom of God. You have the wisdom of God. How you see that somebody who is like, uh, you know, number one at the university will be listening to somebody who is number last in the primary school. Think about that. The unbeliever, the un ungodly, he is number last in the primary school. He doesn't know anything. He is totally ignorant. He is ignorant of the word of God. He is ignorant of the way of God. He is ignorant of the blessing of God. He is ignorant of any good thing. And you, you are on top there, seated in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. How is it somebody, a professor over there, seated together with all the members of the Senate and everybody there, and be listening to somebody who is a refrath, ignoramus, that's how they call them. They don't know anything, and they are there just at the last part of, uh, of the primary school. That's why you say, I've graduated now. I said, I've graduated now. And because the wisdom of God is in your life, in Jesus' name. Hey, blessed is this man I'm looking at you right now. Blessed is this woman I'm looking at you right now. And he says, that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, no need at all, nor standeth in the way of sinners. Why would I? How will he say it stand in the way of sinners? And then seated, nor seated, nor seated in the seat of the scuffle. But his delight is in the law of the Lord. And in his law does he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree. And you will be like that tree, planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth its fruit in its season. That bringeth forth its fruit in its season. Your leaves shall not fail. Your leaves shall not wither. And whatsoever, and whatsoever, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Where is the man? Where is the woman? You will prosper in Jesus' name. 
I'm looking, I'm, I'm looking at this. This is Ezekiel now. Ezekiel now, chapter 34. Ezekiel chapter 34. And I'm reading here. I'm reading here from verse from verse 26. Ezekiel, Ezekiel chapter 34. And we're looking at verse 26. And I will, and I will, the promise that cannot fail. The promise that cannot fail. This promise will never fail in your life in Jesus' name. He said, I will make them and the places round about my hill a blessing. And I will cause the shower to come down in a season. There shall be showers of blessing. There shall be showers of blessing. The rain is falling. Take your bring your bucket out. The rain is falling. Bring your drum out. The rain is falling. Bring your reservoir out. You are going to collect so much water of the shower. It will last you for one week and last you for one month and last you for one year over and over plus abundance upon your life in Jesus name. The promise that cannot fail. Ezekiel chapter 36 I'm reading from verse 11. I will multiply upon you man and beast, and they shall increase and bring forth fruit, and I will settle you. Praise the Lord, you are settled. I said, praise the Lord, you are settled. You know, no, you're no more like a rolling stone. You know, you are here now, you are there now, you are there now, and you collect nothing, but now you are settled. Because the blessings of God will settle in your life. The power of God will settle you. And all, you know, settle me. Set, you are settled already. And the Lord says, I will settle you after your old estate. I will do better. I will do better. I will do better. I will do better unto you than at your beginning. And ye shall know that I am the Lord. The promise that cannot fail. The promise that cannot fail. They are coming upon your life in Jesus' name number two now number two is the power that cannot fail the power that cannot fail there's a power here tonight there's a power near you right there and that is the power the power of the almighty god and is the power that cannot fail while you're sleeping that power is walking while you're praying that power is walking while you're reading that power is walking while you're just walking on your way the signs are following after you and the power is walking in jesus name genesis chapter 18 genesis chapter 18 the power that cannot fail the power that cannot fail genesis chapter 18 i'm reading from verse 14 genesis 18 and we're looking at this in verse 14 is there anything too hard for the lord Tell me, tell me, tell me. Is there anything to add for the Lord at the time appointed? Your appointed time has now come. If you are barren, wipe all those tears away. No barrenness anymore. Your appointed time has come in Jesus' name. Hey, I've always dreamed, I've always had a desire. I want to go to school. I want to, you know, have this certificate. Go there now. Admission is waiting for you. Your appointed time has come in Jesus' name. I've been a graduate for some years now, and I try to get a job. I go here, they say there's nothing. I go here, there's nothing. And the Lord is saying tonight, throw your nets down. Again, that same place, that same place. Throw your nets down, and then catch a drop. Master, we toiled all the night, and we caught nothing. But at thy word, I will throw down the net. Go back to those places, your job is waiting for you. Because your appointed time has now come. He said, at the time appointed, I will return unto thee according to the time of life. And Sarah shall have a wife. Put the name of your wife there if you're looking for children, miracle children. And your wife shall have the son in Jesus' name. The power, the power that cannot fail. We're looking at Jeremiah. Jeremiah, I'm reading from chapter 32. Jeremiah, chapter 32. There's a power working right now. There's a power working right now. And this power will not fail in your life in Jesus' name. The power of God has never failed. Has never failed. 
Call Abraham and ask him. He'll say, that power never fails. Call Moses and ask him. He'll say, that power never fails. Call Joshua and ask him. He says, that power never fails. Call Daniel and ask him. He says, the power never fails. Call Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and ask them. And he says, the power never fails. And call Elijah and ask him. He says, the power never fails. Call Anna and ask. He says, the power never fails. Call Elizabeth and ask. He says, the power never fails. Call Mordecai and ask. And he says, the power never fails. Call Esther and ask. He says, the power never fails. Call Job and ask. He says, the power never fails. You see it on your own head, the power will fail. Everybody says the power never fails. Everybody says the power never fails. And then now you, now you, at your own time, at your own time, you see it's your own problem. You see this peanut problem. You see not little mountain that will make the power of God to fail. In your life tonight, the power of God will not fail in Jesus' name. Chapter 32, chapter 32, and I'm reading from verse 17. Jeremiah chapter 32, verse 17. Ah, Lord God, behold, thou hast made heaven and earth by thy great power and stretch out arm, and there is nothing, and there is nothing. And there's nothing, and there's nothing too hard for thee. Look at what's in your life today. Is this one hard for the Lord? Look at this challenge. Is this one hard for the Lord? Look at this mountain. Is this one hard for the Lord? And look at this affliction and oppression. Is this hard for the Lord? The Lord will do it tonight. I said the Lord will do it tonight. Matthew, Matthew, Matthew chapter 19. Matthew chapter 19. And I'm reading from verse 26. Matthew chapter 19. And we're looking at verse 26. The power that cannot fail. The power that cannot fail. The power that cannot fail. We're looking at Matthew chapter 19. In Matthew chapter 19, we're reading from verse 26. From verse 26, here is the word of the Lord from the Lord Jesus Christ. But Jesus beheld them and said unto them with men, this is impossible. What does that mean? With doctors, this is impossible. He says, with experts, this is impossible. With science, this is impossible. But with God, all things are possible. Where men have failed in your life, God is coming into that situation tonight. He will reverse everything and turn everything around. It is possible in Jesus' name. Mark, Mark chapter 9, the power that cannot fail. Mark chapter 9, I'm reading from verse 23. And Jesus looked round about and said unto his disciples, How hard me. I'm sorry, I'm looking at this another chapter. That one is extra there. Everybody say extra. And now, let me give you the real thing. Chapter 9, chapter 9 of Mark. And we're looking at verse 23. Jesus said unto him, If thou canst believe. Are there believers here tonight? Are there believers here tonight? I'm a believer, you are a believer. You are a believer, I'm a believer. And if two of us shall agree on anything in your life, if two of us, if you just agree with me tonight, and I agree with you tonight, all things are possible for you and for us in Jesus' name. And in verse 23, it says, look at this, Jesus said unto him, if thou canst believe all things, all things, how many things? All things. In your life, how many things? All things. In your family, how many things? In your education, how many things? In your profession, how many things? In your Christian life, how many things? He says, if thou canst believe, all things are possible to them and to him. That believe it. We're looking at Luke chapter 1. Luke chapter 1, and I'm reading here from verse 37. Luke chapter 1, verse 37. For with God, nothing shall be impossible. With God, nothing shall be impossible. The power that cannot fail. Point number one, the promise that cannot fail. Point number two, the power that cannot fail. Point number three, the people that cannot fail. I see the people tonight. I said I see the people tonight. I serve notice to the Assyrians. Watch out, watch out. The people are coming. The people are coming. I serve notice to the world. Watch out. The people are coming. The people that cannot fail. Because the word of authority is your mouth. The word of command is your mouth. Whatever you say will be a decree. 
I say to be a decree. Because we are the people, we are the people that cannot fail. You will not fail in Jesus' name. You know, the people of the world will not know. They will not know when Moses came. And then all those uh, magicians, they were looking at Moses like this in the corner of their eyes. What's this man doing? I'm that's the man that cannot fail. That's the man that cannot fail. He took Pharaoh some, some time to understand. He took Pharaoh some time to realize that this is the man that cannot fail. Look at Joshua. And Joshua just came in like this. And then he saw that captain of the host of the Lord. He said, are you for us or for our enemies? enemies. He said, I come as a captain of the host of the Lord. And then he bowed before him. And then the captain said, move on now. And then he went to Jericho. He cannot fail. He went to I. He cannot fail. He went to all those places. You're looking at the man that cannot fail. And here comes David. They said he was just a teenager. And when the Philistines saw him, he derided him. He disdained him. He said, is this all they can say? He said, am I a dog? Hey, hey, wait. Philistine, be very careful. Goliath, be very careful. That young man in front of you, that's the man that cannot fail. He has a sling in the hand. He has a stone in the sling. It's a man that cannot fail. It's a sling that cannot fail. It's a stone that cannot fail. You will not fail in Jesus' name. Here comes Elijah. Here comes Elijah. And then the widow said, I'm gathering the last chick so that I'll cook that for my child. And then me and my child will, will die. Hey, woman, there's that, there's that man that cannot fail. Somebody is coming to your house right now. Elijah with power is coming to your house right now. It's a man that cannot fail. He will not fail in Jesus' name. And Elisha kept on. Elisha was following Elijah. And then eventually Elijah said, Elisha, you are following me. What do you want? I want the double portion of your life, of your spirit, because I want to be the man that cannot fail. If you see me while I'm going, it shall be yours. And then he was taking my father, my father, and the mantle fell down. When he held that mantle in his hand, he came before River Jordan. He said, where is the Lord God of Elijah? And then he smote that river, and they parted all the 50 of the 50 sons of the prophet. They came to lie down before because they saw the man, the man that cannot fail. You know, when, when, when Daniel shaved up with Shad Abednego, when he came to Babylon, all those astrologers and all those people, they didn't know them. They didn't know that they are the people that could not fail. And Nebuchadnezzar said, what am I hearing? I hear that you are not bowing down. Hey, Nebuchadnezzar, be very careful. Those people in front of you, those are the people they cannot fail. If you hear the sound of the cornet and the dulcimer and the and that, and you bow down, well, if you don't, then I'll cast you into the fairy furnace, and where is that God that can deliver you? They say, you don't know what you are talking about. The people you see in front of you now, these are the people that cannot fail. Are you there? I said, are you there? And the man got angry. You know, he didn't understand, and he said, bind them, and they bound them, nobody can bind you again. All their rope, everything, all their shackles were bound in Jesus' name. And he threw them in there and the flame of the fire destroyed all their enemies. I pity your enemy. I said I pity your enemy. The people that are trying to bind you and they're trying to hinder you, I pity them. And then this, they rose up and then Nebuchadnezzar said, I taught them a lesson. Those people, they never do that again. Then they peeped in He said, what? What do I see? One, two, three. Uh -uh. There's number four. I said there's number four. His name is Emmanuel. His name is Emmanuel. He'll come to you in that furnace. He'll come to you in that difficulty. And he said, I see the fourth person. And his appearance is like the son of God. He says, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, the servants of the living God, come out. They came out and they said, we are the people, the people that cannot fail. 
you know, Daniel, and people didn't understand he was to become president because the Lord had said you'll be the head and not the tail. And this is going to be fulfilled. This is your year. I said, this is your year. And those enemies, they all came. They said, watch, it will not happen in our lifetime. All right, if it doesn't happen in their lifetime, it will happen after they are gone, but it will happen. I said, but it will happen. And then, you know, the edict, you know, do this and do this. And then they tried to sign something. And they threw him to the lion's den. And, they, and you know, the Daniel, he spent that night, you know, he was also enjoying himself, you know, around those lions. And then the following morning, the king went there sorrowful. Daniel, the servant of the living God, is your God whom you serve, able to deliver you from the power of the lions. And Daniel replied, he said, King, live forever. I'm still here. I'm still there. I'm saying that the people that cannot fail, they're still there. I said, you are still there. The Lord has sent his angel, and he shut up the mouth of the lambs, and he hurt me not, and he said, come out. He came out. He came out into promotion. You're coming out into promotion in Jesus' name. Now you will come to the New Testament, and we're talking about Peter and John, and that man had just been healed, silver and gold, have I none, but what I have, I give unto you, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. And the Sadducees got angry, and the Pharisees got angry, and they said, shut them up. And they put them in the prison. And then the angel came by night and opened the door. All the, all the, all the doors that the, the, the Pharisees locked up, all the doors that Sadducees locked up, tonight angels will come to that door. And open your door in Jesus' name. And said, arise, arise, get out of this place. Go back to that same temple and go and preach this word of the Lord. And then they were searching for them. In the, where are they? Where are they? And then somebody came and said, the people you locked up in the prison, all the guards are there and everything is there, but they are now in the, they are now in the temple preaching the word of God. Those are the people that cannot fail. I said, we cannot fail. I said, we cannot fail. You will not fail, and you cannot fail in Jesus' name. I'm looking at the word of God now. This is John chapter 14, verse 12. This is John chapter 14, verse 12. Because all those people I spoke about, they are gone, and you are the man of the hour. You are the woman of the hour. And the Lord is telling you something right now because you are joining the company of the people that cannot fail. The company of the people that cannot fail. In John chapter 14, we're looking at it from verse, we're looking at it from verse 12. It says, verily, verily, I say unto you, who is he talking to? Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that, he that believeth on me, the works that I do, he shall do also, and greater works than this shall he do, because I go unto the Father. Those are the people, and the Lord said, this sign shall follow them that believe. Any believer here tonight, the people that cannot fail, he said, this sign shall follow them. In my name, you will cast out devil. In my name, you will cast out all those mountains. In my name, if you drink any deadly thing, it will not hurt you. In my name, you will lay your hand those anointed hands are still, are they still there? As the anointing dried up, is he still there? Rise up in that anointing. Rise up in that power. The people that cannot fail. The people that cannot fail. We serve a God who cannot fail. He gives us the promise that cannot fail. He gives us, he shows us the power that cannot fail. And then we are the people that cannot fail. We are the people that cannot fail. Tonight, there's no failure. Tonight, there's no failure. The Lord is going to do something in your life tonight. You'll never forget the people that cannot fail. The prayer that cannot fail. The prophecy that cannot fail. It cannot fail. It will not fail. We're here tonight because we serve a God that cannot fail. The God that cannot fail. The God that cannot fail. Every promise you have is a promise that cannot fail. The power that works in you today is a power that cannot fail. You are the means of believers, people that cannot fail. 
We offer prayers to the Lord, the prayer that cannot fail. You cannot fail because he cannot fail. We cannot fail because his promise cannot fail. We cannot fail because the power that works in us, that works in us, cannot fail. The God that cannot fail, the prayer that cannot fail, the people that cannot fail. Blind as I open it tonight, deaf ears have been unstopped tonight. Paralysis has been taken away tonight. Arthritis has been healed tonight. Also, it's been healed tonight. Ernia is being taken away tonight. That saw in your body. That boil that has not been healed for a long time is getting healed tonight. That mysterious hand that touched you and slapped you and seen that time you had that problem, that is cut off tonight from your life. The poverty living from hand to mouth, borrowing and borrowing. The Lord is bringing the promise to you tonight. Poverty is gone. Prosperity is coming your way tonight. You have the promise that cannot fail. Barrenness will be taken away right there. Be waiting upon the Lord. And the Lord is saying, You're not barren anymore. Because there's a promise for you that cannot fail. Your livers are damaged. Life is coming to those livers tonight. It's a power that cannot fail. HIV AIDS or not individual there is being cleared away right now. The power that cannot fail is taking that away right now. My great headache is being healed right now. There's a power that cannot fail. Bad thoughts troubling you, tormenting your life, wicked thoughts coming, your, coming in your heart. All that is driven away right now. There is a power that cannot fail. Miracles are coming your way. Miracles are coming your way. Miracles are coming your way. We are the people that cannot fail. We are the people that cannot fail. We are the people that cannot fail. And it's a name. There is a name. There is a name that cannot fail. And whatsoever you ask in that name is done. Whatsoever you ask in that name is given. The name that cannot fail. Is there ready? Is there ready? 
Because there is a power that cannot fail tonight. And that power is working in you. The power that cannot fail. That's the power that raised up Jesus from the dead. Touching every part of your life right now. Bringing life. Abundant life. Healthy life. A prosperous life because of a power that cannot fail. In Jesus' name we pray. Where are the people that cannot fail? Where are the people that cannot fail? You have the face that cannot fail. You have prayed a prayer that cannot fail. You got the provision that cannot fail. You serve a God that cannot fail. You are holding on to the promise that cannot fail. And the power that works in you, that power cannot fail. Right now, you are getting your own miracle. When you hear the final amen, check up, it's there, it's there, it's there. I said it's there. Miracles multiplied tonight in Jesus' name. Lay one anointed hand upon yourself. Already the anointing is there. And it's passing something through your head, to your body, to your bones, to every part. Something is happening right now. I see the miracles already. I see the manifestation already. I see the power already, the power that cannot fail. Raise up the other hand. Father, in the name of Jesus, is a name that cannot fail, that has a power that cannot fail. We come in the authority of that name. We come in the power of that name. And therefore, Lord, I pray for everyone hearing my voice now here and over there, here and in all the other places. Oh, Lord, I pray their miracle package. Give unto them now in Jesus' name. That brain insanity, that brain problem, I command that brain problem, come out in Jesus' name. That spirit of epilepsy, I speak the word that cannot fail. I command you, spirit of epilepsy, come out in Jesus' name. The swelling in your body right there, that goiter, I command you, come out in Jesus' name. Punch back, I command you right now, be removed in Jesus' name. That uh, near and that swelling, I command you right now in the name that cannot fail. I command that and near vanish away in Jesus' name. The pile that enos that is shooting out, I pray complete healing upon you right now. Because I speak in the authority of the name that cannot fail. I manifest the anointing that cannot fail. And I command that pile be healed in Jesus' name. That tuberculosis and dry cough, I command you right now. Be healed in Jesus' name. That woman there that been pregnant for more than nine months, if far more than one year has gone, I command right now, you'll deliver in Jesus' name. The kidneys that are not working, and then it makes the tummy to be so big because of that problem. I pray that life will come into those kidneys right now. Be healed in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray for that person with their blood pressure. I pray right now that the Lord will touch you. Everything becomes normal in your body in Jesus' name. The enlarged heart and the hole in the heart right there. I pray that the mighty hand of the Lord will touch that heart right now. Be healed in Jesus' name. 
the withered hand, the withered leg, the one leg shorter than the other. I pray right now that short leg will grow out in Jesus' name. The problem having impairment in your ears, in your hearing, I pray that your hearing be corrected and that deafness will get away right now. Open your ears, begin to hear in Jesus' name. That blind, that blindness there, I command right now that the Lord will touch your blind eyes. You spirit of blindness, I command you, come out in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray everywhere right now, from the right to the left, from the left to the right, from the front to the back to the middle, everywhere, inside and outside, and in all the places right now, shout of miracle, shout of deliverance, shout of healing, shout of signs and wonders. I command the miracle upon your life in Jesus' name. Lord, confirm it. Lord, confirm it. I thank you, Lord, because I know it is done. In Jesus' name we pray. And everybody said, and everybody said,